Can a land once feared as the sea of death become a living green force of change? Yes, it can. China turned the big desert into an oasis, and the results are too bold to ignore. This isn't fiction, it's a new frontier in survival. From solar-powered barriers to robot-aided tree planting, what's unfolding in China reshapes how we think of deserts forever. You'll see how lifeless sand is becoming a home for forests, energy, and farms. Stick around to uncover the truth. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for more amazing tech breakthroughs. China turned the big desert into an oasis by building a living wall around its harshest desert. This 46-year project stretched 3 to 50 kilometers. Wrapping around the Taklamakan Desert, China's largest. The goal? To stop the sand from swallowing roads, homes, and farmland. Trees, shrubs, and smart solar shields were placed all around. These do more than block dust. They help bring the land back to life. The desert to oasis shift is real here. This massive green belt now protects both nature and people while opening doors to new industries, jobs, and ecotourism. With fewer sandstorms, nearby towns now enjoy cleaner air and safer conditions. Farmers have started growing crops again on once barren land. Even rare birds and animals have returned, showing how strong the recovery really is. Once a dry land known for its frequent dust storms and barren landscape, Saihanba in Hebei province has been transformed into a thriving green forest. This remarkable change is the result of decades of effort to turn a harsh desert region into a living oasis. For many years, Saihanba was a symbol of environmental decline, where strong winds would sweep sand across the land, causing soil erosion and poor air quality. Today, it stands as a powerful example of China's success in desert to oasis transformation. The shift began in the early 1960s, when the Chinese government launched an ambitious reforestation program aimed at halting the spread of the Otindag Sandy Land, which borders Sai Hanba. The area was extremely difficult to reclaim because of its dry climate, loose soil, and freezing winters. Planting trees in such a region required long-term dedication, innovation, and hard labor. Over time, thousands of forestry workers, many of whom stayed for decades, began planting rows of trees to form a barrier against the winds and sand. Despite the extreme climate, including heavy snowfall in winter and fierce winds year-round, the project moved forward. The trees planted in Saihanba began to stabilize the soil, trap moisture, and build a new habitat for wildlife. The forest gradually expanded, and now over 70,000 hectares of what was once sandy desert are covered with healthy woodlands. These trees not only improve the environment, but also help regulate local temperatures and reduce the risk of sandstorms reaching nearby cities like Beijing and Tianjin. Sai Hanba's success is a strong example of how long-term vision and environmental persistence can reverse land degradation. It has turned into one of the largest man-made forests in the world, proving that damaged ecosystems can recover with the right methods and sustained effort. The area is now home to diverse plant and animal species, drawing researchers, tourists, and students interested in forest conservation and environmental engineering.
This transformation shows more than tree planting. It reflects a shift in how humans can work with nature to heal the land. Saihanba is a living model of what is possible when desertification is fought head on. It stands as a symbol of China's broader fight against desertification, using science, policy, and public support. From dust storms to forest trails, Saihanba's journey from desert to oasis is now a shining beacon of ecological recovery. More than 3,000 kilometers of green defense now almost fully circle the Taklamakan. The work is almost done, and China turned the big desert into an oasis not with dreams, but with action. Drought-tolerant plants are placed using high-tech methods, grass grids, solar panels, and wind-blocking trees. By the end of 2023, China had planted a 2,761-kilometer barrier. This zone, once called the Sea of Death, is being redefined. What used to be a drifting, lifeless desert is now lined with hope, thanks to powerful ecological engineering. Water-saving systems now support plant roots deep underground. A major milestone has been reached. The last 285 kilometers of Greenbelt were completed in Hotan, fully encircling the Taklamakan Desert. China turned the big desert into an oasis, planting drought-resistant trees like desert poplar, rose willow, and saksaul. These plants were used to close a final 10-meter stretch. Now, a complete green circle surrounds this 337,600-square-kilometer desert. It's not science fiction. It's real. This final seal stops the sand from creeping out and brings life where there was once only dry wind and silence. It's a powerful step in the desert to oasis effort. As trees grow and wildlife returns, this living wall stands as both a shield and a promise, a defense against desertification and a source of new hope for nearby communities. In the heart of the Kabuki Desert, China built something remarkable, a massive solar farm shaped like a galloping horse. While the design looks artistic from above, it serves a deeper purpose. This is not a display. It's a bold step forward in how China turned the big desert into an oasis using smart technology. The project uses more than 196,000 solar panels to capture the sun's energy in one of the driest and hottest parts of the country. These panels now power thousands of homes, cutting carbon emissions and supporting local development. But the impact goes beyond electricity. This solar farm helps stop desertification by reducing the movement of sand. Under the solar arrays, drought-tolerant plants are grown to hold the soil together. These green patches act like anchors, keeping the land stable and slowly transforming it. Locals have found new jobs maintaining the site, planting vegetation, and running support services shifting the economy from survival to growth. What makes this solar farm stand out is its balance. Instead of replacing nature, it works with it. Solar panels provide shade, lowering ground temperatures and helping plants grow. In return, the plants reduce dust and improve the environment around the panels. This is not about pouring concrete in deserts. It's about building a system where tech, ecology, and people coexist. The Kabuki horse-shaped solar farm is a model of desert to oasis transformation, showing how clean energy can heal land, power homes, and create a better future. Robots now help grow Apocynum, a plant that thrives in dust, salt, and drought. 
This is how China turned the big desert into an oasis using technology. In Kiemo County, winds rage and dust flies. But since 1998, sand control projects haven't stopped. Today, a planting robot handles up to one hectare daily, way more than humans can. It plants precisely and fast. Apocynum isn't just green. Its leaves are used in tea and medicine. This smart farming is pushing the desert to oasis idea forward, with machines replacing sweat and shovels. Xinjiang is wrapping up a project that loops around the Taklamakan Desert with smart barriers. This isn't just a fence, it's a life-saving circle. China turned the big desert into an oasis by building 2,761 kilometers of layered protection using reeds, wood, and trees. This year's final 284 kilometers are done, with only one kilometer left. It's happening in Yutian County, where trees take the lead. Pishan County already has wooden layers holding dunes in place. The Desert to Oasis plan isn't slowing down. Soon, this final piece will close the loop, and history will remember it. This spring, over 30,000 volunteers got their hands dirty. They planted more than 1.5 million trees in Minkin County, fighting desert creep. This is how China turned the big desert into an oasis through collective power. These aren't trained professionals. Students, workers, and locals all joined in. Their work is already cutting down sandstorms and helping wildlife return. Officials believe that in 10 years, barren land will become rich green fields. The Desert to Oasis change isn't only about tech. It's about people taking action, one tree at a time. Community-led efforts like this also raise awareness and inspire future generations. Every seed planted is a step toward a greener, safer tomorrow. In the middle of the Taklamakan, farmers are now picking dates. Yes, real food from the sea of death. How? With smart irrigation and better planting, China turned the big desert into an oasis that grows fruit. These Chinese dates are sold in cities and shipped abroad. Desert farming no longer means struggling, it means success. Farmers earn more. Families live better. This new green economy proves the desert to oasis dream can feed people, not just inspire them. Sand has been replaced with soil, and that changes everything. 